Well, within uh, Germany, the medical faculty was one of the first who succeeded to uh, be funded by the very competitive and prestigious uh, collaborative research centers. That was in the 60s, so it's nearly 50 years ago. And since then, they have a continuous support in this really highly competitive systems, and they always received funding from these CRCs by the highest German science society. Well, this collaborative research center is one of the major priority areas of Saarland University itself, and it has recently been evaluated by the highest scientific board in Germany, which is the Wissenschaftsrat, and it has been evaluated as being outstanding. The objective of CSC 894 is to achieve a better understanding of the mechanisms of calcium signaling. More than 100 scientists at different stages of their careers investigate uh, calcium signaling at the cellular, molecular and organ level. Virtually every cellular process depends on intracellular calcium. Uh, changes in the calcium concentration controls completely different processes in different cell types, but also within the same cell. Calcium signals and calcium ion-related signaling cascades are studied in a multidisciplinary approach of scientists from fields such as physiology, biophysics, anatomy, biochemistry, cell biology and internal medicine. Research is performed within 15 scientific projects and three platform projects. The platform projects provide cutting-edge technologies such as super-resolution microscopy, transgenic mouse technologies and a platform for generating peptides and antibodies to support the members. A specific feature of our CSC is that all participating groups are located on the Homburg Medical Campus. This means that we have very short distances between the groups and laboratories, which makes collaborations easier. All scientists of CSC 894 have access to excellent equipment and research infrastructure. I'd like to mention super-resolution microscopes such as DET, SIM, PALM and TURF and the two photon and standard confocal microscopes, plus the novel light sheet microscopic technique. The research quality here is really good. We have the chance to learn new and outstanding methods, which give us great career opportunities, and the professors here are really nice and open. I really enjoy to work in a highly international team and therefore get to know different cultures and traditions, which makes working here even more interesting and exciting. The group of Frank Kirchhoff studies the role of glial cells for brain function. Using genetically encoded calcium sensors and two-photon microscopy, they can observe local and dynamic calcium changes in astrocytes. The group of Ulrich Böhm studies how the brain controls sexual reproduction. Here, hormones elicit calcium increases in the pituitary gland of a female mouse. Without calcium, the heart would not beat. Proper calcium signaling by all cell types of the heart is essential for normal cardiac function. I'm Yannick Teuchert. I was born in Saarland and I studied human and molecular biology at the University in Saarbrücken and here in Hamburg. Behavioral experiments play an important role in understanding how single genes affect the whole organism. Currently, I'm using different behavior experiments which are olfactory system related. I'm using, for example, aggressive behavior tests, where we test the aggression between different mice, as well as mating behavioral tests, where we test the performance of the mice to reproduct. Additionally, I'm using different experiments which are odorant related, in which we test the attraction or the aversion towards specific ligands. My name is Christoph Mark. I'm a senior physician here at the Clinic for Internal Medicine and Cardiology in Homburg. We work on the mechanisms of chronic heart failure, which is the most common cause for hospital admissions in Germany, but also many other Western countries. And uh, the main problem here is that uh, the pump failure is related to mishandling of calcium, but also sodium in the cardiac myocytes, and there is an energetic deficit in oxidative stress. Well, as you can see, we just moved into this new clinic building here, the IMED, in which the clinics for internal medicine, but also the research labs are under one roof and this makes the life very, very convenient here. We can easily combine the clinical and the basic research lab under one roof. We envision an even stronger connection between the strong basic research groups and excellent clinical groups to develop and advance 
Bench-to-Bed-Site-Applications.